It was an explosion that could be seen and heard for miles, completely leveling a holiday home and blowing out windows and causing extensive damage in homes throughout the surrounding area. We haven't seen a lot of calls like this with this magnitude. Unified fire crews getting the call about decades old dynamite stored in the basement and shed here at the property near 6200 South and 2300 East. Something Assistant Chief Riley Pilgrim says they were grateful came in. The best thing to do is get professionals in there to take care of it. And he says their experts were ready to respond. It's not just an A to B decision. There's a lot of different tangents and variables we had to consider. All of us on site felt that this was the best course of action. Evacuating the neighborhood, using a robot to move some of the materials, and then a controlled detonation. First off, let's get the one engine on he the He says there were also flammable chemicals on the property and other hazardous materials to handle. The risk to the public was the priority and the timeline was as quick as we can get this done, but safely. He says what you see in this video, UFA released Monday, should detail the painstaking process they went through for some 20 hours as they tried to take care of the problem while protecting human life, both in the community and first responders. The challenge that we had is we knew it was there, we just didn't understand the quantity that actually was on site. Obviously, extensive damage was done in the blast, but no one was injured. We had dozens of responders there over the duration of that incident and no injuries to us, the public, and that is obviously the, the best outcome we could have asked for.